Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. First up, I feel like I should mention that I am on the ends of having a bit of a cold. So if my voice sounds a little bit weird or if it gets a little bit scraggly and it sounds a little bit annoying, that is why. It's also why my videos have been so like sporadic this whole month. They've been a little bit all over the place, but fingers crossed for the rest of the month and the rest of the year, videos will be far more frequent. But I thought I would mention that at the start of this video just to let you know. But anyway, today's video is quite an exciting one. It's one that I've been really looking forward to putting together since like springtime earlier this year. And it is winter wedding guest outfit ideas. You may have already watched my previous wedding guest outfits videos. I did one in the springtime, which was styling spring suits. Then I did another in the summer, which I would associate as like peak wedding time. So naturally the need for wedding guest outfits inspiration is much higher. So I've done those two videos already this year and I'm pretty sure that I mentioned in those videos that I wanted to do one for winter wedding guest outfits as well because I kind of feel like winter weddings, they're definitely fewer but they're becoming more and more popular and I do see quite a few people going to winter weddings. So I thought it'd be quite nice to put together something with some winter wedding guest outfit inspiration for you. As I'm talking about winter wedding guest outfits, obviously winter means cold weather. And so these wedding guest outfits are catered to more colder weathers and winter weather. So hopefully this video will help with some inspiration if any of you have some winter weddings coming up this year. So let me start off with a dress that you have seen me share a lot here on my channel but it's one that I adore and I really think that when you get a dress that is so classic like this one you can really style it year after year and again and again. So for outfit number one I have a very wintry outfit. So here I'm wearing this gorgeous green like emerald green sparkly tiered dress. This is a dress from Marge and it's just stunning and I've actually spotted a high street version as well so I will make sure to link the high street option as well for you. Obviously it depends on budgets so there's Marge which is a bit more on the pricier side and then I've also linked an affordable option for you in the description box as well so make sure you open up the description box for all the links to all of the outfits and the pieces that I'm sharing in today's video. So as I was saying the dress is obviously the standout piece here. It's a midi length which I think is perfect for wintry weddings. This dress is actually short sleeved and for that reason I had to think about the outerwear here and oh my gosh this could not be a more perfect match. I actually styled this with a different sort of combination of accessories last year for Christmas time and as soon as I put this outfit together I thought oh my gosh this would be perfect for a wedding as well. So finally I'm able to share with you how I would style it for a wedding. The fact that this faux fur coat is the same sort of emerald green shade as the dress I think could not be more perfect. It's definitely a little bit darker but the two colours complement each other so beautifully in my opinion and I also love the different textures because I mean it doesn't get more wintry and more cosy than faux fur in my opinion so I feel like this faux fur coach the fact it's cropped as well I think really complements the silhouette of this dress too because it kind of cinches in at the waist but then it goes out a little bit with the ruffles so the fact that the jacket is a little bit cropped means you don't miss out any elements of the dress so it's just really seamless and looks really beautiful beautiful like I would happily wear this outfit with or without the jacket which I think is what you're looking for with winter wedding guest outfits you want something that will look good with your outerwear but will also look good without your outerwear as well and then for my accessories here I decided to play around a little bit and I actually added leopard print heels here I really love leopard print and honestly to me I don't know if you've heard the sort of saying that's like leopard print is a neutral and I'm 100% down with that I completely agree leopard print is 100% a neutral neutral. I just think it goes with so many different colours and so many different outfits and styles. So I feel like it works really beautifully here with this outfit. It sort of adds another element, something more interesting again. And the fact that these are court heels as well, I think is always a bit more appropriate for a winter wedding because of course you can go ahead and wear yourself strappy sandals. I do have an outfit in here with strappy sandals, but I just think that sometimes a court heel feels a little 
more appropriate for a winter wedding guest outfit. So that's what I went for on the shoe department. I didn't really have anything that perfectly matched the shoes or that perfectly matched the dress. So just a classic clutch bag to pop in all of your essentials. You can of course go for black, you could go for emerald even, you could go for a dark brown that complements the shoes. You could really go for just about anything. It's all about working with what you already have in your wardrobe or those pieces that are timeless and classic like a nude clutch bag is and that's outfit number one. Wedding guest outfit number two is all about the glitz and the glam. I definitely think that this outfit for me was a bit inspired by party season as well. I'm thinking about all the sequins and all the glitter and all the glam and this really inspired this outfit. I feel like this would be a perfect outfit to take you from ceremony all the way to the evening. I do think though that you probably need to be quite close to the bride and groom or at least have some sort of relationship with the bride. Like I wouldn't necessarily wear this if I was someone's plus one to a wedding because I do think it's quite extravagant and it's quite out there. I don't know. I feel like you always have to be a little bit cautious when you go to weddings. Like you don't want anything that's too extravagant or too out there. But I kind of feel like this dress is the best of both. And for a winter wedding, I feel like it actually works really nicely. So I am wearing this beautiful heart print pink sequin midi dress. I love the fact that it's heart print. Obviously that ties in really nicely with like weddings and the theme of love, which I absolutely loved. I think that's what drew me to this particular dress. And the fact that it's sequin makes it perfect for a party and of course a wedding celebration. So I really loved that about this look, but obviously it is sequined, it is out there. So I just thought something to bear in mind. But anyway, if we're talking from a ceremony, for example, I actually decided to pair it with black accessories and I know like there's definitely mixed feelings when it comes to wearing black to weddings. Personally, I think when it comes to accessories and outerwear, I think it's okay. I don't think I would wear a black dress though, but I know some people do, so it's completely up to you. I guess it's down to personal preference. So I decided to sort of tone down the look with the help of a black blazer. I love this blazer. It's really nice and structured and it's quite long line as well. So it actually finishes off at a really great place with the dress. You sort of have a little bit of the dress still peeking through but the blazer obviously mutes down the whole outfit and I feel like this would be your outfit for the ceremony you know it's not like glitz and glam it's not all sparkle it's definitely a little bit more muted you've got the blazer which of course is very smart and very classic and then I kept all of my accessories black as well because I really feel like with this outfit it's the dress that is the main piece like the centerpiece of this outfit so the rest of my outfit I wanted to keep it quite plain and quite simple so I went for black black court heels here. These actually do have a bit of a scalloped edge detailing as well, which I think is really beautiful and just adds a little bit more interest to something as plain and simple as black court heels. So I really love that about these. I decided to then go for a black bag. This is my little shoulder bag, which I have been wearing so much recently. I am loving this bag right now. I think it's great both worn casually, but also really smartly as well. Like I think here as a wedding guest outfit, I think it looks really beautiful. So the accessories are really simple to let the dress do all of the talking. I kind of feel like I worked well with trying to tone it down a little bit. I imagine you've got your blazer on and your full outfit when you're in the ceremony, but then come evening time and you're dancing the night away, you whip off your coat and you have this just like gorgeous, sparkly, heart printed dress. I think it's honestly perfect for a wedding. Obviously, it is a bit of a mini dress going on, but I feel like with weddings, they're most likely going to be indoors, particularly if they are winter weddings, at least for the evening portion of the wedding. So hopefully, Hopefully mini dresses will still be okay. And when you're dancing and when you're partying away, like you do tend to get a little bit warmer anyway, but that's outfit number two. On to my final look here. This one I would consider to be more of a classic wedding guest outfit, I think. I do think with the previous two, I have definitely been a little bit more experimental in terms of prints and colours and even like fabrics as well. I've definitely been a little bit more experimental whereas I feel like this one is very much a classic wedding guest outfit. So for this outfit it really is all about the dress here. This is a very beautiful midi dress. The reason I love this one for a winter wedding guest outfit is because it's got long sleeves and honestly a midi dress with long sleeves is perfect for a winter wedding guest outfit. So this one has this gorgeous floral design running through it. It's got pink, red, green. It's got really like hints of loads of beautiful vibrant colours on a black base. That's what I really like about this one actually. It's despite 
despite the dress being a black fabric, you've got the florals there. So you've got that extra color that almost takes away from it being a black dress. So it's not head to toe black. It's not head to toe like boring. It's definitely more of a like fun, floral, flirty sort of dress, which I really appreciate and I really love as a wedding guest outfit option. It goes into a slightly low cut V, which I think is very beautiful, very flattering as well. This dress does have these like white polka dots along the belt and also along the sleeves, but honestly, I think that's totally fine. Like, I don't think that's too much. I know you're not supposed to wear white at weddings and I wouldn't say that this sort of breaks any rules, at least in my opinion, but I just love the fact that it's long sleeve that it's a midi length it's actually quite a long midi as well I'm quite tall I'm 5'9 and this ends just above my ankles so I feel like it's definitely a longer midi you could definitely sneak some thermal leggings under there to keep you nice and warm throughout the night but I really love that I think in terms of outerwear I didn't actually include outerwear with this particular outfit because it's got those long sleeves and I feel like if you're indoors and you sort of take off your coat and you're not really wearing your coat throughout most of the event but but if you were to wear a coat, I would definitely go for something colourful. I would either go for something green to match with the floral or maybe pink or red, just something a little bit brighter. Of course, you can go for black as well if you want something a little bit more classic. For my accessories here, I've gone for black strappy sandals, keeping it simple, keeping it classic. I would have loved to have paired this with a colourful heel instead, so picking up one of the colours in the flowers, for example, and having that as my footwear. But I don't actually have any colourful heels, so I couldn't quite work with that. However, I do think if you're going for a strappy sandal, a way you could tie it in quite nicely together is by painting your toes the same colour as one of the flowers, for example. So you could go for a red or maybe a pink and that could actually match quite nicely as well and it could add a nice pop of colour too. So that's a little tip as well. If you don't have coloured shoes or you're not quite sure how to match, then just like match your toenails to whichever colour you want to pick out from your dress or from your outfit. Then my bag is a little clutch bag. It's a gorgeous red clutch bag. As I didn't have color anywhere else, I thought it'd be quite nice to match the color with my clutch bag as I had this beautiful red one. And then I'm also wearing a headband here. This is a pearl detail headband. It's actually a floral design. So the pearls are arranged in a way to create little floral designs across the headband, which I really love. I think it's a very nice attention to details. A nice little addition for outfit number three. So those were my winter wedding guest outfit ideas. Let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments down below from one to three. If you're after more wedding guest outfit inspiration, I would urge you to check out my previous videos. Even with my spring wedding guest outfits and my summer wedding guest outfits videos, I definitely feel like you could pick out dresses and pick out options from those outfits and then just accessorize them a little bit more. I think for me, the difference between a summer wedding and a winter wedding is that for a winter wedding, I definitely focus more on the accessories. I feel like they bring so much more to an outfit and then outerwear as well is something that you can consider as well to sort of tie in your look together. So hopefully this video was helpful if you do have any winter weddings coming up. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I upload twice weekly here on YouTube and I would love for you to be subscribed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all very soon in my next video. A very big thank you for watching. Bye!